Hey, what's up, sexy Sam on Discord? Today we're playing a Cupid, and uh, the main reason is because Shiv walked over to my computer and said, "Let me pick your god and pick Cupid." The second main reason is because there's a member of this community, the the Samlanders, who seems to think Cupid is bad, and it makes me irrationally angry <laughs> because I think Cupid is not only not bad. But in fact, very, very good. Um, I'm not gonna oust him, but if uh, if you do see Pro Void Cloak anywhere, just make sure you let him know that it's still good. Cupid's still good. And let's be honest. If I can beat a freaking Oleron with Cupid, then uh, there is not any room. To disagree with me. Good auto. Good auto. Good auto. Pow. Boom. Pow. Boom. Pow. Okay, come on. Don't hit me. Do not hit me. I dash straight into his two. Uh, my clear is kind of dookie cheeks right now. It will get better. But for the at the for the at the moment. Not something I love. Hello. Okay. Oh, you die here? Oh, never mind. You shelled. You shelled. You're fine. Dude, this clear is so good. Honestly, screw the wave. I'm fighting Olaron right now. He might think he wins this, but I have shell. Please. Oh, that really should not have worked. <laughs> you really should not have worked. But you know what? I'll take it. Please pick these heals up. The only reason that worked is because he missed an auto. Man, fighting... Level 3 Oleron is really just a bad decision. Invader Zim never stops talking. I, I like the skin because of nostalgia of me watching the show. But I don't like the skin because it's annoying. Uh, I'm sipping some coffee, by the way. Sugar-free latte of the day. <sighs> wow, you clear so good. What if I just decided to alt you, though? Like, what would you do about it? Like, what if I just boom? And then I ulted you? Oh. You ult away. I actually don't like that decision. It's not gonna hit me, because I'm way too good. Um, did you clear the whole wave that quick? Almost. Okay. Stun. Now I kill. I missed my autos. Oh, I really want to do it. I'm doing it. Come on. One auto. One auto. One auto. Nice. Let's go, dude. Definitely the risky play. By the way, you want to heal when you have your passive up because your passive... Every little heart that you have. Oh my god, he spawned already and I can't kill this minion. <laughs> Please. Every little heart that your minion has, it increases your damage or healing. Oh my god, you're here. Hello? I don't think you can kill me. You don't have an ult. Right, so I can just kind of walk away, right? And I don't think that you're like in a great position right now. That's a stun. You're definitely not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Ouch, my butt. Um, he probably dies here, right? Because, like, I can just do this. Yep, he's dead. Let's go, dude. Because he didn't have alt up yet. His alt is on a way longer cooldown than me. Than mine, not me. Well, I mean, technically mine and me are the same. 
All right. Red buff down. We got extra damage. Am I reading this right? It will always consume eight stacks. I've been working out. I know. That's what I said. Shiv came by the computer and said, you're beating Oleron in Pro Void thinks that Cupid sucks. <laughs> you know what, Pro Void? Maybe you suck. Maybe you suck, buddy. I will say he's uh, he's pretty close to GM on console. He's like 3,000 MMR, so I don't think he actually sucks. But I will say at one point, he did say Aphrodite is the worst god in Duel. And he did include Yorm and Kepri in his analysis. So I think he's just got really, 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 really bad takes. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if, if he is like, man, I really want Sam to do a Cupid video. So I'm going to say Cupid sucks because honestly, that would be big brain. But I don't think he has that much IQ points. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm roasting my friend, it's because if you are my friend, then you should expect the love to be reciprocated in the form of roasting. And I expect it back, don't worry. Can I please take your tower? Nice. Big stun here. Big alt here. Okay, I can't move. I'm in the air for 18 years. I think he crit me. Uh, he's got Bancrofts. I'm not, I don't like this positioning. Wait, you die here? Oh, nice. Oh, did he die to mannequins? He just died to mannequins. And now he surrendered. Cupid's pretty good. I guess I'll do a second Cupid game. Hello! Welcome back to game number two. Uh, I'm not going to use the Invader Zim skin. I will. I will. Screw it. I'm fighting a Platinum Border Hades. That means he plays a lot of Hades. I know this guy. I, well, I don't like... Like, I haven't talked to him a lot. But, like, I've, I've seen his name. I know of him. Um, uh, Tainted Steel will be good here, but, but, doesn't give me that much early game. And I think I need all the help early game I can get. Ah, screw it, dude. I'm cool. My mom calls me cool, so I know it's true, okay? I'm going to go Tainted Steel. He's not going to go Tainted Oh, he might go Boombas and just get triple buff control on me. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. Because I have no way to, to steal a buff from a Hades. Or really, from anyone. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. Cupid's one does do some decent burst damage. But, uh... Yeah, with no mannequins or anything, this buff is going to kick my Tukus. Any day now. He proxy farmed. He's getting my double blue. That's my strat, but I'll, I guess you can use it this time. Alright, he got double blue. I got red. I don't know, man. My clear actually doesn't feel that bad with red buff. Which is weird. Hello. You hit level 5 all this wave. I'm not stupid. I missed. Maybe I am stupid. Dude, imagine landing autos. Not be me. Where are you going? Come back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need to make sure I hit him. Before he heals, this tainted steel actually really helps. I think you die here unless you ult. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Whoa. What the heck, minions? Come back. Hey, 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 hey. That was close. Almost lost the gold for that. I think I might have to ult this wave. <laughs> like, I am not doing a lot. 
I knew Tainted Steel was going to give me, like, less uh, early game, but I didn't think it would be this bad. I have no mana. No MP5, like, no sustainability. Strictly, the only thing that Tainted Steel gives me is 15% anti-heal and a little bit of protection. Which, don't get me wrong, is good, but I think... 15% with Tainted Seal, and then maybe going like a Beat Stick is okay. Alright. That was alt for alt. I'll take it. I think when we both don't have alts, I win the fight. And I think it is pretty convincing. Oh, there's his med. Why does he have med on Hades? That's super weird. Whenever he dashes in, I auto him. There we go. Painted seal on him. Um Yeah, I can't I can't grab a kill here, but That's okay. I'm feeling okay. We will try to clear this wave as quick as possible. Oh, really good clear. Actually, like, really good clear there. He will steal my red. I know that for a fact. Because he's Hades. Actually, if he uses his three on the wave right there, I think I'm okay. Yeah, that did more than enough damage. Damn. That's the, that's the problem, honestly, is that he... I mean, Hades has so much damage. I do not do anything to this guy. I did say this was going to happen right in the start of the game, though. That he was just going to triple buff control me all game. Because I decided to go Tainted Seal, which I regret every time he gets a buff. But whatever. The best I can do now is just try to make the most of it, which is basically... That I'm okay at fighting. But he's two levels ahead. So even that I'm okay at fighting doesn't really give me an advantage. He's two levels ahead and 500 gold ahead. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. I'm not McDonald's right now. That's for sure. Alright. Go for the wave. This is a very predictable juke pattern once you get into it. You can ult. Oh, he used his med. Mm. Oh, I'm actually surprised I didn't do anything to him. I could try to dash in and go for the kill, but I don't know. He has ult and I don't have beads. So I probably I probably can't out damage him. I do want to go beat stick. I also want to go toxic blade. I think I'm going to run toxic blade j literally for the only reason that it's 60% anti heal instead of 40 and it's slightly cheaper. So I get more like bang for my buck in terms of the anti heal of it. Obviously, my damage won't go up, but, I mean, to be honest, kind of used to my damage being a little dumpy right now. Why do you auto-attack so fast? Okay. Oh, that's stunned. All 
All right. My damage is like quite literally the worst. I'm hoping once I finish Toxic Blade that I just have enough attack speed to kind of warrant my damage being this bad. Like I don't do a lot of damage, but I auto attack a lot. I will say one benefit for me this game is that the later the game goes, the better chance I have. I'm ulting this blue. I want a buff. This is my buff, stupid. Really? Really? This is how you're going to be? You can't kill me. What's the point? Okay, you still can't kill me. Oh, no way you caught my dash, bro. No way you caught my dash, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Nothing about this game is good. I can't believe he caught my dash there. That's pathetic. Your middle tower is under attack. Dude, that's so lucky. Well, I think now I basically have no chance of coming back unless I camp my brains out. Which doesn't make for a very fun video, but at least it makes for a competitive one. Bro, why did you go... Why is your one doing that much damage and you maxed your two? That, it, like, it makes no... I have tier two, or tier one defense. This is absurd. The divine, too. Interesting. Um, I mean, I have Toxic Blade, so I guess it kind of counts, right? I have 85% anti-heal on him right now. He's saving the minions to heal off, but you don't heal right now. I have too much anti-heal. Okay. Nice. Turns out all I need is him to be overly aggressive and me to have pretty much 100% anti-heal. That is the tower. It will also be the red buff. Alright. Good, good, good. I've gotten to the point where I might be able to withstand an ability. That kill was actually huge. Honestly, it wasn't even really the kill that did it for me. It was the uh, the fact that I got the tower and the red buff afterwards. Like, that's, that's what got me back in the game. The kill itself got me a, a decent amount of XP and, like, 500 gold, but I was down 1k. <laughs> so, my attack speed is really quick now. That is a stun. Yeah. Wonder if he's this way. No? There he is. Uh, I do not like where I am. I think this is okay for me. Is that the stun now? Oh, you're dead. Let's go, dude. 
Okay, we both had to ut utilize our relics super well there for that fight to even be so competitive. This guy's a good player. He's actually a great player. I don't like that he's better than me, but, uh, you know, <laughs> so I guess I just have to get over it. Just stood in Phoenix. That was interesting. Can I get this in time? I can. I can probably kill him again, actually. He doesn't have ult. Oh, uh, he will have ult. I have no cooldown, and, and he does have cooldown, so. Definitely has ult back up. Can you get Taint Steel upgrade at 17, or is it still level 20 thing? Wait, are you here? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Okay. Bull Demon right now is kind of stupid because I'm not getting any benefit other than the regen, but I think the regen is kind of the the last kick I need. I think I'm going to go Kins here. I actually was considering going Heavy Executioner just now. Not Heavy Executioner. That's the one that caps your attack speed. Uh, Ferocious Executioner, I think, is the name. Yeah. I was considering going Ferocious Exe because he gets a lot of defense in his ult. And he gets uh, defense from the breastplate, so I was, you know, thinking maybe XE would be fine, but I'm sure Kins is going to do more overall damage. How much health do you have? Yeah, 2300. I'm sure Kins is pretty good here. Oh, you are so dead. Okay. Okay. That was a good ult. Now what are you going to do for this way? Because you got to walk up so I can stun you. You don't get any healing. Nice. GG, boys. GG, boys. The Cupid strikes again. Uh, the Tainted Steel, I didn't like at all. Like, that was, that was a really bad decision on my part. Yeah, I sacrificed... Almost all of my early game and almost all of my mid game, uh, just for fifteen percent anti here. Like it didn't give me enough to warrant what it took away from me. I think if I do that matchup again, I'll probably just like go mannequins or I might even go eye of the jungle. So at least I'm doing more damage to buff. So maybe I can secure with my one. Um, but in terms of fighting potential, I mean, you saw like Cupid is kind of unmatched. Just because with your with your passive fully up, you drop your heal, which empowers your heal, and then you use your one, which is a stun, and then you combo your stun into your alt. I see a lot of cupids misplaying and going alt in then one. That alt, all that does is it uses up your eight stacks of your heart bomb or your your eight like heart passive. It uses all eight of them for twice as long of a mez. In duel, that mez doesn't matter. Like, your goal is to kill him when you ult. It's not to mez him and run away. And if that is your goal, then great. I mean, you did a great job. But 90% um, of the time, it's it's because you want to hit them with that ult and then combo off of it. So what you want to do is you want to hit your one and then ult after so they can't just run away. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.